I am bringing the tech, you know, resource person today, and we want to look at 2021, what will be the way to go. Uh, all the way from me now, I'm in Lagos State, you know, Lagos, Nigeria. My resource person is in Mina, uh, also in Nigeria, mind you, okay? So, I'm bringing uh, Mr. Phillips Okweba. Uh, you are welcome. Thank you very much, Mr. Majid Fetuga. Yes, really happy yes. to be here. Yes. How have you been? How have you been? How is Mina? How is Mina? Well, we'll be pushing, we'll be pushing, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so really, hopefully, and we are getting, we are going well. Yeah, yeah great. Uh, I know you are a web developer. You have been building websites. You code. You are also good in digital marketing, and we have been in like more than two platforms together. So I know for a fact that. Yeah. You have uh, the stuff it takes to come online and give us an idea, you know, for startup businesses, uh, for uh, even growing businesses that would want to scale. So this is 2021. We've just experienced COVID and uh, the lockdown and some, some other issues that we all experience all together. So what should be the, you know, method or strategy for this 2021, you know, growth. If you really want to run your marketing, uh, we want to look at what your opinion will be. How do you, what do you say to, uh, to you know, take 2021 and beyond? So how will it be? What are we should focus? What are we going to focus on as startup business? Are we going to look at social media marketing? Uh, tell us why. And are we going to look at uh, organic growth if there's any platform that is really growing give us some tips you know mr phillips i'm hoping you give us some tips thank you yeah okay thank you very much for having me mr fetuga moji sure. uh, it's a very interesting topic we have here today and uh like i said 2021 is a year that uh, we all should be up and running in our businesses sure and uh, create, creating leads, you know, getting the kind of attention and uh, all that we need in digital, using digital marketing. So from my experience, um, I'll be deciphering between social media ads and SEO as the topic implies. And uh, I want to see that in 2021, I want to say that go for every method that you can, okay? Go for everything that you need, everything, every area that you need to uh, to to succeed in whatever business you are doing, whatever works for you, please go for it. There's no discriminating between this or that. Okay, but well, I'd like to share uh, from a little experience between social media ads and um, search engine optimization, SEO. Okay, so before we can go into that debate, it's a, it's a very wide debate, actually. This is not the first time I'm hearing something like that. And I want to say that before we go into that, we need to look at uh what makes them different what are the benefits to each of these uh what is so unique about each of them i want to say that okay starting with seo search engine optimization uh seo actually entails showing up in google search results like for audience search queries when you type something on google and then the answers display ranking up in that order ranking up on the search results is what seo actually entails coming up, you know, nobody goes to page two of Google Home or Google search to check anything. Once you just go through the first page and all your answer, if your answer is not there, you type another query. You just log off and then you go on to another query. And ranking up, coming up to that first page, bringing up your business or your brand to come up to that first page using your keyword or uh, particular key to phrase. what business you do, the key phrase and all that. That is what search engine optimization actually is. Meanwhile, social media, on the other hand, it's about building relationships and brand awareness, okay? With our engaging with your audience on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we have LinkedIn, we have uh, uh, even this TikTok, there are, there are platforms for digital marketing, we have different of them. And um, so having seen the disparity, let we say that SEO is for ranking your page on Google search, and then um, social media ads is for creating that relationship, for building that brand awareness among your audience, gathering audience, 
creating an audience online on these platforms, whichever platform works for you. Okay. So I uh, haven't seen these differences. I want to say that they are both unique in their own different ways. Yeah, social media is unique in its ways. Also, SEO is unique in its ways. Yeah. So I want to say that whichever works for you, no discriminating between the both. And uh, actually, social media, when you get that lead, you get that, uh, that audience. And to get them into that intimacy with your business, get them to trust you, get that brand awareness that you know that you need, and all that. You can that and also lead into. Uh, it can be a plus for you also on your on your SEO if you are trying to if you are trying to generate rank high on, on your on your website on on Google search and actually it can also be a plus for you. So they both work hand in hand, and I don't want to say okay this is the best, this is not the best. I want to say that you know that niche you have come for the business you are set out to do. You know what platform it works best for you. If you have a website, why not go for it? If your business has a website, you can run the two at once. There are businesses and there are platforms that are thriving on both at the same time. And uh, anyone can do any of these things at any time. And I don't want to say, okay, stick to SEO and just focus on it. Actually, SEO takes a longer period of time to come up. It will take, yeah, it will take a longer period of time yes. for you to, uh, for you to rank. Hello. Very, very, yes, yes. I'm getting you. Seriously, I'm getting you. Uh, you okay. really have given, you've given us a clear, you know, uh, spread to a space to work, you know. But we want to look at uh, a small business like somebody okay. who has uh no websites for instance okay. that person may not have anything to do with seo because uh except of course if he's going to be ranking on social media uh, uh websites uh, uh placements probably you are on uh, uh you have some websites you uh give content to and uh, you okay. place okay. You, you probably you are a contributor or you just write your post on some other you know website probably you would rank on some keywords or key phrase but now 2021 i'm a startup business i'm just starting okay should i focus on seo meaning should i go get a website and be growing my seo efforts or should i just you know focus on social media grow my content organic uh F growth and uh, probably i run my paid ads so what do you think i should do or what would be your opinion your suggestion to my states given these you know different uh, options okay uh fine very well thank you for that clarity as a startup and you're just um starting up the business okay uh without a website uh, without a, a home page, so to say, wherever, or a landing page, whatever. It doesn't mean you cannot go into business. Very, very well. You can still do your business and you can still thrive. Very, so very well. you can well. do your now, business without that, having a website? Yes, you can do your business without and having a website. And you will make sales. Okay. And you will make more sales, very <laughs> much sales. And that's what we're talking about. So, <laughs> so if you want to learn how to do your business without even having a website, if you have not gotten a website, I'm going to put yeah. the description, the information of Mr. Phillips in the description. Please, okay, chat him up, chat, see, you will see his details there. He's going to give you guides. He's going to give us here too, but he's going to give you detailed mentoring on how you can really grow your business without really having a website because... You don't need to pay, pay for Facebook page, it is free. <laughs> so, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Mr. Phillips, okay, let us hear one or two more uh, points from you before we call it uh, a day. Okay, so on that light, uh, starting up a business, I said, and I repeat it again, you don't need a website to start up your business, to do your, to thrive in your business, okay? Social media is enough tool on its own for your business to thrive. We have uh, platforms, uh, even the simple google my business page is more than enough for you to thrive on any business you want to do okay so uh google my business is another tool by google for you to uh you you own 
uh, like sort of a landing page on Google search on Google where you can display your products or your service and you can actually reach people you know by phrases by those keywords those key phrases and all that social media is also um, another great tool talk of Facebook Facebook has a very large audience very very large audience unimaginable you know instead Talk of um, TikTok and even the common WhatsApp that we so uh, undermine. WhatsApp is also a great tool for all that. But I want to say, social media is enough to is okay more than enough for you to build your business. Whatever business you are building, great. Yeah, so stay great. far away from uh, wherever you can send. What you can do business. Yes, I'm. I'm going to do. I'm Hello. going to do another. You know, break down meeting with interview with mr phillips so that we are not going to overburden your mind with so many tools and it will create a shining syndrome for a new b marketer who really wants to come online so uh for the next guide if you are just new to this channel or if you have not uh followed me or subscribe or like be a part of my uh, community be a part of our community our uh, information will be available in the description follow us you know chat us or dm us anyhow we would be willing to really help you and improve your business and of course it's always that uh, we work together as a community okay so at this junction i'm going to thank mr phillips uh for me now okay now thank yeah. you and <laughs> i really appreciate your coming online uh, I say thank you. I really say thank you. So say bye-bye to the audience for me. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much all for listening. I want to say that in 2021, we must be intentional about our business, about growing our businesses. And the tools are already up there for you. And uh, why not give it a go immediately? Stop procrastinating. Stop. Pro it's something you can do on your mobile. It's something you can do on your, you know, at your closet. And you don't need any much expertise for that so get go and let 2020 be the year that we've always dreamed of thank you all very much for having me yeah thank you thank you thank you thank you bye bye thank you